today, we will see some common mistakes related to the following concepts of geometry and the concept of direction of rotation. Common mistake 1. Some students understand that measurement of angle is based on the length of its sides. Like here, two angles are given. If students are asked to identify the greater angle among these, their answer would be angle PQR because it has longer sides. But this is a mistake and it is wrong. If we arrange both angles one above the other, then we come to know that both the angles are equal. Or using the protractor, we can measure the angles and find out whether the given angles are similar or not. Therefore, remember that angles are compared on the basis of their measures and not the length. Mistake number two. Some students, while measuring the angle, keep the midpoint of the protractor on the vertex, but they forget to align the straight line on the protractor with the side of the angle properly. Some students, Instead of aligning the line on protractor with the side of the angle, they try to adjust the edges of the protractor which is wrong. Therefore, remember that it is necessary to keep the line shown on the straight edge of the protractor with the midpoint properly. This gives an accurate measurement of the angle. Common mistake 3. When children write the measurement of an angle, they ignore showing the degree sign with the measurement. Remember, the degree sign is the unit of angle. So, it is necessary to express this with the measurement of the angle. Common mistake 4. Some students get confused between the name of the acute angle and obtuse angle due to which they make mistakes in identifying the angle. Like here, two angles are given. Students identify them as an acute angle and obtuse angle, while this is an obtuse angle and that is an acute angle. To find out, we compare the angles with a right angle. If the angle is smaller than the right angle, then it is an acute angle, and if it is larger, it is an obtuse angle. Simultaneously, let us understand the concept of direction of rotation. When we talk about rotation or the action of rotation, then it is often necessary to specify the direction of rotation. For this, we use the direction of the hands rotating in the clock. The hands of a clock rotate in the same direction. The direction in which they rotate is known as the clockwise direction. And the opposite direction is called the anti-clockwise direction. Using this, we tell the direction of rotation of an object. Like here, this object is rotating clockwise while this object is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. With this information, can you answer the following questions? If the clock hand is at 6 and it rotates in a clockwise direction by 90 degrees, which mark will it be on? Or, if the clock needle is at 6 and it rotates in the anti-clockwise direction by 90 degrees, which mark will it be on? Try and solve these questions by yourself. Today we saw common mistakes related to the concepts of geometry and the concepts of direction of rotation.